Well, good morning. I'm glad you could join me today. I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you had a good time worshiping yesterday. Last week, I had a chance to interview Mrs. Linda Hensler. She's been a longtime church member here at First Baptist Church at Flag La Beach. And I just want to talk to her a little bit about what God has been doing in her life since the outbreak began. We were going to include this as part of the worship service yesterday, but because of some technical issues that came up, we had to pull it out of it. And so with her permission, I'm presenting this this morning. This is my interview with Mrs. Linda Hensler. I want to thank you for sitting down with me this afternoon. And so I just had a few questions I wanted to ask. Uh, the, the, first question, the first question was, how has God been working in your life and all of the stay-at-home order stuff? Well, I guess, I guess in a couple different ways. First of all, I think um, um, he's given me a lot of peace, a lot of comfort, a lot of peace. Um, I don't know. I've just been really at peace with all that's going on. I'm very comfortable with it. And I, um, anyway, I just feel like I'm very peaceful at this point. And okay. I think God's a uh, role in that in my life mm -hmm. at this point because it could be a big upheaval. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, it's been and the, the, and then the other part, there's doing two parts to okay. that. The other part is. I do have my sister with me. Okay. And I, I feel like that God's had a hand in that because she came down before it was ever closed down in Ohio. And so consequently, I've had that um, companionship that I normally would not have had. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's that's been very good. Yeah. Yeah, that's always a blessing. That's always a blessing. What's been the most difficult part of this for you? The most difficult part for me is um, not having the contact with other other people. And I've heard you say this, that you didn't realize it until you didn't have the people in the church. And I just kind of kind of feel that uh, when you live alone, you, um, you know, sometimes I go to the store just to be around other people. <laughs> but, um, you know, not being able to come to church, not to be able to have that fellowship, not to now. And so I've made it kind of a point to call people. Mm -hmm. I've had a number of people on my mind that I just wanted to make sure, check to make sure that they were okay and, and so forth. So right. that, that part's been a little bit difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, Everything we could work out. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. What are you looking forward to the most about them reopening? Because, you know, they... We're, this is being recorded on the day when the governor is supposed to be making an, an announcement. Uh, we don't know what that's going to be yet, but once things start opening up, what are you looking forward to the most? Well, I'll look forward to it when I feel like I can go. I think I'm going to take it kind of slow and easy. I don't want to jump into something, and uh, I know a lot of people probably will, but I don't intend to do that. But when I can't, I want to get this hair done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here for you and me and, and, yeah. and other people. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that Bozo the Clown look here every day just a little <laughs> bit more. <laughs> so, oh, oh, man. But I, I do want to say that, that since all this has occurred, I have been reading um, uh, Proverbs. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's made me a little more aware that, um, you know, I just need to pay, pay attention to what I say and what I do and how I do it. And so, you know, I've been able to reflect a lot on that. So okay. that's been good for me. Okay. All right. good for me. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Is there anything you'd like to say to your church family when this airs on, on Sunday? Oh my goodness. I just, I just miss you so much. And I'm so anxious to see everybody and get back to church to get my, get my hug. So <laughs> Amen that's to what that. I, I'm looking forward to being with everybody again. Okay. And, I hope everybody is, is safe and well. Okay. All right. Well, Linda, I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your time today. And so um, I, I, I do thank you, and we'll be airing this on Sunday morning. Okay. Thank you. Even in the midst of a pandemic, God is still at work. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank you for watching over us, Father. We thank you for the knowledge that we have that you are still with us even in the midst of an outbreak. And Father, as phase one begins today, Lord, I just ask for wisdom and for patience, Father, and for prudence for our nation's leaders and for every single person who's having to make a decision about whether or not to go out or to stay in. Father, we just ask for wisdom and guidance. Father, we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope to see you tomorrow morning.